did the mash. He did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey, hey, everybody, Aaron Whitehead here. It is almost Halloween. I'm excited to teach you the song, The Monster Mash. So before I get into that, I uh, wanted to share with you, I have a book. It's called A Piano Chord Book You Can Actually Use. Uh, you may have heard of it. And this song that we're going to do would be a great uh, song to have this book for because the way this book is organized is it has all the chords of a particular key all set and together in order next to each other, okay? So, for example, we're going to be in the key of G, and this is the key of G here, and it shows the chords that come up in the key of G. So we're going to play a G chord, we're going to play a C chord, back here on the next page we're going to play a D chord and an E minor chord. Those are the four chords that are going to be in this song. Check that out at thepianochordbook.com. All right, here we go. We're going to jump into this song. We're at ultimateguitar.com, where we've got the chords. This is such a classic song. It really captures the essence of kind of early rock and roll, and it's fun for Halloween, and it's super, super simple in terms of the uh, chords. Only four chords, all right? So we're going to walk through how to do the different parts. We're going to do it in kind of an easier version and then a more complex and let you choose where you want to be, okay? So middle C is right here, and for this song, I'm going to go through the chords real quick, and then we'll do some rhythm. Most of the rhythm you're going to find out is going to be in your left hand. We're going to start with a G chord. We're going to voice it here with the G at the top in our pinky and the index finger and thumb that hold out the D and the B, okay? So anytime we play a G chord, we're going to play it like this. Then we go to E minor. We're going to shift this finger from our index to our middle finger. This is going to be our E minor chord, B at the bottom, E in the middle, G at the top. And then when we go to our C chord, C major, we're just going to slide our thumb up from the B and we're going to have C, E, G here. And then when we go to the D chord, we're going to slide everything up, D, F sharp, A. And then when we go back to the G chord, we're going to slide back down to the voicings there. Okay, so here's the chords again, all four chords, G major, E minor, C, and D. And then back to the G chord again, okay? Now in the left hand, you have two choices. You can do a single note or an octave. Okay, if you're going to do a single note, I might do it like this with my thumb here on G and my pinky on there on C. So I'm right in this area. Okay, so when I play the G chord, I'm going to play the G note here in my left hand. All right, and then when I go down to the E minor chord, I'm going to drop here to my middle finger. And then when I go to the C chord, I'm going to play the C there in my left hand and then D is there, okay? And notice I don't ever even have to move my left hand. It's just gonna stay right there for all four of those chords. That's gonna be the simplest way for you to play this song. Or the third way that's more complex is to do an octave, okay? An octave in the left hand with the chord in your right, okay? And if you've never played an octave before, this is a little bit of a stretch. You gotta get used to that distance so that your hand can just jump down onto the octave, okay? So here's, we're just gonna play the uh, the name of the chord, okay? So uh, G major, we're gonna play a G chord. E minor, we drop down to the E octave, C, and then D. So that's another way if you wanna do something a little bit more complex, okay? But now, uh, let's talk about rhythm. So for the rhythm of this song, you're going to accent uh, with the right hand on beats two and four. Now you hold each chord for a total of two measures, okay? So it's actually eight beats or two measures, okay? So one, two, three, four, 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 one, working in my lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise he did the mash he did the monster mash 
Smash the Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Okay, so you get the idea there, accenting two and four. The right hand is going to do that for the entire song. The complexity comes with what you do with your left hand. Okay, so simplest thing would just be to hold it down for the entire measure. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so that's you get the idea that that's really simple, right? Now, if you want to add a little bit more complexity, what you're going to do in the left hand, instead of just holding it out, whole notes, you're going to play on one, and then again on three, and that's all you, you could just do that. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, that's an option too. A little bit more complex than that is to play one and then three and. Okay, that sounds like this. One, two, three, and four. 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 Okay, and if you're doing the octave thing, then you actually do that in the octaves. Caught on in a flash, he did the mash, he did the monster mash. Laboratory game, so. Uh, and you can choose, actually, one thing that I would do if I were doing the song is I might do the real simple thing in the verse. So I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my so now more complex than the mash he did the monster mash the monster mash it was a graveyard smash he did the mash it caught on in a flash he did the mash he did the monster mash okay so you get the idea there you should go simple in the singing parts and then uh, when you get to the chorus you get more complex now let me show you one more level of complexity if you want to add this whether it's in single notes or octaves okay and that's just simply a passing note that comes on the end of four now if this is too hard for you stick to the simple ones i've already shown you shown you super simple showed you a little bit more complex a little more complex than that this is kind of like you know the the, the most complex part that I'm going to teach you, okay? So we already have one, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and like this, okay? What you would do if you want to make it a little more complex is you're going to add a passing note in between the chord on the end of four. hand so one two three and four one two three and four and one two three and four one two three and four and 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 one that's our one two three and four and one two three and four and one two three and four and okay you see how it works Okay, and if that's too hard, leave it out. But if you want to, you could even do it in the octaves. Reminds me of Crocodile Rock from uh, John Elton John. It's going to sound like this if you sing it. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash, he did the mash, he did the monster mash. 
wow. Okay, so you get the idea there. Now, real quick, let's take a look at the part that gets different. Okay, this is a slightly different part. You might call it a bridge. Uh, it comes after the second chorus. You go to the zombies, we're having fun. Okay, so on that one, we're just going to do the C's. Okay, we're on C. The party had just begun to the D, back to C. The guests included Wolfman, and then Dracula, there's a hit there, Dracula, and his son. Okay, so uh, you can choose, do you do the simple one, or you do the one and three, or you do the complex. You choose which one you want to do, but it's the zombies we're having the fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, we're going to hit here, Dracula, and his son. Okay, and then you do a little walk up there on the end of three. So, Dracula and his son, two, three, and four, and oh. Scene was rocking. Okay, so you get the idea there if you want to do that little break. All right, so that. That's all the parts of the song. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you have fun learning that song and playing it for your friends and family for Halloween, singing all together. It's really a great song. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I want to encourage you to click on the link in the description that says join me. Find out more about a way that you and I can work together to help you learn how to play the piano and uh, get, exclusive, uh, get exclusive content and lessons and also be a part of a larger group of people who are journeying along just like you. Okay, so... Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time.